What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So we're still rocking and shocking in the PTR. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Monk and more importantly, looking at the Patterns of Justice build coming in Season 28. They did buff this. Now, I have been looking at a uh, remnant set that I've been working on, but man, it's not looking good for this set. I don't know if we'll do a video on it, but if you guys want me to, let me know down in the comments. But today we are looking at the Pattern of Justice uh, set bonus here the so nothing really changed in the the two or four set piece it's the six set piece it was 15,000 damage and now they've increased it to 20 percent or 20 20 000 percent which is actually really really strong so we put this build together and we've tested it out and it looks like we're doing like sub two minute gr 90s so i and it's actually really really fun to play so let's go over everything that you're gonna need you're gonna need five of the six piece uh, pattern of justice set combining that with the caps and crimson to give us the cooldown reduction resource cost reduction as well as the damage increase so we got those we got those five sets and then the two piece here and we're combining that with the caesar's memento bracer so that way enemies take more damage uh, from tempest rush for five seconds after you hit them with a blind freezer stun and we'll talk about that in the skills uh, as far as our necklaces and rings we're going with scores for double damage and then obsidian ring of the zodiac to help keep our cooldowns on our abilities which is very important here and then we have stone of jordan to have our elemental damage be huge now i will say i have everything lightning based and i suggest you do the same thing i think the only thing that i need to swap out is i need to get a better squirts for more lightning and then i think there's one more i have that has fire yeah my actual storm of jordan so if those two were lightning this would be even higher but get stone of jordan it's going to save you in the long run uh the legendary gems that we're going to have in here is the molten Wiz Wild wildebeest gizzard for just shield and then we got Tegook for armor and damage and then we have of course bane of the trapped for damage into our weapons guys these two are the keys more importantly this one uh the one quim lao uh, this is the main one hitting with tempest rush activate cyclone strike and both skills deal 600 percent increased damage now you don't ever really have to main cast cyclone strike because it's just going to pull it in but if you want to you can just for maybe the extra uh freeze and then the, our other weapon is the vengeful wind here uh increasing the stack count of sweeping wind by 10 so it goes to 13 instead of three and increases the damage by a crap ton Okay, so that's the weapon and gear, guys. Going into our cube, we have balance to increase uh, Tempest Rush damage. And then hitting three or fewer less monsters gives us 100% crit chance. Mantle of Channeling for more damage as we channel Tempest Rush and damage reduction. And then Ring of Royal Royal Grandeur to pair the two sets. Into our skills, guys, we got Cyclone Strike, Wall of Wind. The reason this isn't the one where we can pull in um at 34 yards instead of 24 is because we need the enemies to be frozen enemies get frozen for 1.5 seconds and that's where we do our increased damage with memento so we have to have them be frozen we do our increased damage from caesar's memento boom annihilate the entire lobby next we have tempest rush electric field this is gonna uh basically just do electric damage as you're moving which is really great just added damage uh after tempest rush guys we got dashing strike way of the fallen star we do this for just the increased movements uh, the increased movement afterwards but if you do want to change just the blinding speed this is really good for just dodge chance um i almost did it on quicksilver just for the charges just for lightning damage but really we want the increased movement or the um 40 dodge i like the increased movement because i just want to zoom around after dashing strike we have mantra of conviction annihilation now here is the trick with this one guys we did have this as serenity ascension so that way you're basically invulnerable for four seconds but i opted because i have such a high dodge chance and that stacked with epiphany desert shroud mantra of conviction gives me a 60 percent damage increase as well as every single time that i kill somebody while this mantra is active i get 30 percent increased movement for three seconds so you are going to be flying across the across the map it's going to be insane so that's what i opted for but um ascension is also a very good option then of course epiphany desert shroud for damage reduction and then sweeping wind inner storm so sweeping wind is going to get huge and deal damage and we're going to gain uh eight, per, eight spirit per second while this is active now with this one too i almost changed this one to uh 
Master of Wind for the additional cold to, to freeze them for two seconds. But I found that even with that, it didn't make a real difference because of Cyclone Strike to be able to freeze them anyway. So I just kept it at that way I can keep my spirit really, really high. Okay, into our passives, guys. We have Beacon of Yatar for cooldown reduction, Seize the Initiative for more damage and attack speed. Then we have Guardian's Path for uh, dodge chance. I did test without this. I tested without Guardian's Path, and we ran um, not only Determination, but we also ran Chant of Residence. And didn't matter which one, we took a lot more damage um, without the Guardian's Path, which also did not help us with our molten beast gizzard which really sucked so i put this back on and it was perfectly fine and then relentless assault for deal 20 percent more damage against blind frozen or stunned and pretty much every enemy is going to be frozen so that is the build guys you do have some options here to change this but i really really think this build is pretty self-explanatory the way this is going to play out is you're going to dash when you have to to cover ground you're always going to keep mantra of conviction and epiphany up and then besides that you're just tempest rushing so let's go pop a g90 and uh see how we do again this build is just really really fun now i will say that the mantra is constantly like the cooldown is really really fast so you get every few seconds you have to do it and you see here we're just kind of zooming through the big mobs and they just get pulled and the build is just really satisfying. We haven't had anything like this. Of course, Inez is probably gonna be the better uh, like farm build for even 90s or T16, but this build is really, really cool with the added buff here for, um, for the monk, man. I mean, we had Inez for so long and it's great to see like Wave of Light do really well. Um, and then to have something like this just be added backup you know, just as another build that you can play. And this is kind of a brain dead build. Like you don't have to do much. You're really just pressing a few, a few buttons. Now, even at the nineties, I am at a, at a low Paragon. My armor's not augmented. My gems aren't even level 50. I think I have one that's level 50. But besides that, the gear is really, really low guys. So it doesn't, it doesn't really do it justice. So if you had better gear and better gems, you'd be flying through this even faster. But I still think it does well, even though I don't have those things. Oh, sweet. We got power. That's awesome. And you just fly through this, man. Like, look how fast we're moving. And you notice that we're not taking a whole lot of damage, if at all. Which is just... The, beat it, the build is actually really, really speedy. Really speedy. When I like tested this before making the video guys, I was like, wow, this build just gets around. It's so fast. And again, you just you're just tapping a few buttons. Super cool. I think this is gonna be a very viable um, farming build for T16, maybe 90s, depending on what you want to do. We we crush that in, in like two two minutes and two seconds. Very, very strong, very fast. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed using the build. Now I will add one more thing to this. If you don't want to use Molten Beast Gizzard and you still feel like you 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 know you're not really taking any damage, swap that out for Bane of the Stricken to do even more damage, um, and you you will absolutely crush. Like it, it will deal so much more damage. And let's see, so two minutes and one second, sub two minutes. Like you, you just crush it. I mean the build is is very very strong. I think it's a a great build for the monk and i really like that blizzard buff this i hope that they keep it this will be a fun different build oh one added thing here we did test it with echoing fury and found that the movement speed was nice but we lose out on a lot of damage here uh so we want to keep vengeful wind but the build is actually really really fun guys so uh drop a like if you enjoyed today's video make sure to comment down below what do you think of the uh buff to the patterns of justice build it could be the monk's t16 build or maybe gr90 just farming it's really really good so let me know down in the comments, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.